Oh my gosh, guys, I am totally, totally, totally obsessed with these products, <laughs> especially the first one I'm going to mention. So if you're interested, stay tuned and you don't want to miss it because these are really awesome. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. This is going to be my September obsessions. And I've had a few, not very many. When I say obsessions, when I buy something that I like so much that I have to go back and buy more, then I feel like I'm obsessed with it. You know what I mean? In a short period of time. So uh, there are a couple of products that that I'm going to really mention because I am like so obsessed. And the first one is going to be, and I think I mentioned these, I might have even shown them in one of my other videos. I had bought the, and I think they're fairly new, they're the NYX Epic Wear, and these are the liner pencils or the eye pencils. I absolutely, I am obsessed with these. I absolutely love them. So I bought two of them, and then I went and I got a third one because I wanted a darker color. And then I went and I got two more because I absolutely love them. Now, the really cool thing about these is they are sharp. When you put them in, you know how you can get one of those like little tiny sharpeners that have the thin side, the thicker side? You can get them on Amazon. You can get them sometimes in Walgreens. I think Elf has a very popular one that you can pick up in Walmart maybe for like three bucks. Anyways, these you sharpen them. And I have always been for, if I'm going somewhere and I want to have a liner or a color, I've always been in Urban Decay, I think 24 seven or whatever it is. Those liners have been the, they're the ones that I would go, I would definitely, if I'm gonna like cry all day, put those on because they're not gonna run down my face. And so like when I performed my niece's wedding ceremony, I knew I was going to cry happy tears. And I wanted to look good because there was all these people on this mountaintop and I was marrying my niece and her husband. So I wore my Urban Decay. And I love my Urban Decay, but it's like so stinking expensive. Yeah, you probably get what you pay for, you know, obviously. But I kept looking for something that would be equally as good. But I also wanted something that would give me a really nice color range. Well, when these Epic Wear pencils came out in NYX, NYX, they came out all these beautiful shades. And I was like, I looked at them and I'm going, am I going to like this? What is it going to look like on my eyes? Am I going to look ridiculous? I'm a purple gal. And I know there's a few other ladies in the, in the let's say, mature community. I hate using that. I hate using the word mature community for different reasons I could get into some other time. There are a few other ladies in the community that have aging eyes. And when you have aging eyes, not everything works on your eyes. But I saw these pencils and I, I fell in love with the colors. And I think I've already shown a couple of different, you know, color swatches. I mean, they're, they're purples. Oh my gosh, and I love them. Did I say that you can sharpen them? You can sharpen them. Get yourself one of those little sharpeners. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money. Anyways, I've talked about these and how much I really like them, but I became obsessed with them. I went back to the store and I bought this darker one, and I, this is the berry, the one on the bottom. I absolutely love them. And then, the other day, I wanted just a little tad of blue around my eyes. I went and I bought this blue. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It is, it is more of a, like a shimmer or not a shimmer, but a satiny finish on the blue. I thought it was awesome. And then I got this other one, it's like a turquoise. Look at that one. So you're gonna go, okay, Monica, what are you gonna do with these? Well, I'll tell you. I've won all these different colors all this week, and it's just a pop of color in your eyes. And so, because today I've got the purple, and you probably can't even see it, but I actually have the purple, and, and they show up in real life, but I actually have the purple, the light purple, 
on top of my darker eyeliner to soften it up and then I have the purple underneath that I smudged. I love these pencils. I'm obsessed with them. They have a couple of different shades that I want. There's like a, I'm going to go get the black, I'm going to go get the brown. There's like four or five different shades still that I can get. I'm going to, I think I'm going to get them all because I love them. And Walgreens, goes my phone again. And Walgreens frequently has this brand on sale as well. You know, like you can sometimes buy one full price, get the second one half, half price. So I'm going to wait a couple of weeks and get the rest of the colors. But I am obsessed with these. So not only do they look pretty when they dry on your head, on your eyes or on your hand, you can't, you can't move them. I mean, I, I don't know if you can see this. I'm rubbing. And I mean, look at that. You know? And so for me to take that off, I'm going to actually have to, to, uh, to work it off. But I, uh, I love it. The other thing I'm obsessed with, and this shade is sold out. Well, these are the Sephora, and these are the Sephora brand. And I'm going to tell you, this one is totally sold out that I could see online. I went to my local Sephora in Manchester, New Hampshire. I went to see if they had this. They did not. They were totally sold out in store. This other one, which is a really pretty pink, they still have. Uh, but the universal one, they're totally sold out. There's a third one. There's actually more than that. There's like a, but there's a third one I want to get which is all the way towards the the end of their colors uh if you look online it's sort of like a mauvey purple i'm gonna get it i've worn these in the morning i've done my makeup i put this on my my naked lips sometimes all day and that's all i've worn it doesn't really give me a whole lot of color but it gives me a nice plumping effect more often than not i put my lipstick on and i top it with one of these not super sticky by any means at all. Actually, very, very comfortable. Doesn't smudge all over my coffee cup and makes my lips look really nice, I think. So, I'm obsessed with these. <laughs> and I'm obsessed with these. Ah, uh, yeah. I've had some obsessions. The other thing I'm obsessed with, I have to tell you, is uh, my new face. Now, I, I use the El Adopter on weekends only because I have been really working on my 11. So when I chew this on the weekends, I will go up. For those of you that know how to use the New Face and this other brands as well, but I'm using the New Face because this was sent to me complimentary and I've been using it for about six weeks now. But I've been working on my 11s. So I'll go up on my 11s and then when I'm done that, I go the other way. I'm like opening, you know, because your 11s happen when you squint, when you're looking in the sun, you know, when you're scrolling. So I'm opening them by doing it sideways. Sideways. I was like, oh my gosh. So on weekends only, I'm going to be doing that extensive work on my 11s on my forehead and trying to, you know, use this on my brows as well as my lips on weekends only. But I think... I'm, I'm at a solid six days a week with this. I love it. So I have, I've been wanting to, I did get an, uh, an aloe vera gel because the New Face gel primer is very pricey. And so I did get the aloe vera gel. I'm going to get another one. You want to be really careful because I know that some people talk about different conductor gels, but the conductor gel that's used on body, has it that has an ingredient an ingredient in it that I can't I'll if I find it I'll put it up in the description box that concerns me for my mature skin if you get younger skin you're a younger gal you use a new face and you want it you want to get that off-brand glider primer thing go for it conductor gel I should say but for my mature skin it has an element in there that's kind of drying I have dry skin so I am not going to put that on my face Sure, if I want to do anything on my body, maybe, but not on my face. So I'm very super careful. I'm looking for the primer gel that I have. Here it is. 
I'm very super careful of what I've been putting on my face. But um, this is the one I got off of Amazon. CVS has a comparable brand. I'm going to go pick that up. You're looking for a clean, clean. If you're going to use the Aloha a Vera Gel, you're going to be looking for a clean Aloha Vera Gel. You don't want anything that has a bunch of colors mixed into it as well. So as clean as you can get it. Yes, it's a little watery compared to this. But hey, at the price, I just goop it on and goop it on and goop it on. So I'm obsessed with my new face device. And I love it. I love it. So this and then this on the weekends. Oh la la. So I've been really, like I said, concentrating on those 11s and really looking for some improvement. I think I've seen some improvement. Although I've been working my forehead for quite a while with, you know, my you know, Retin-A, obviously. And my forehead has dramatically improved, as have the hoods of my eyes over the course of time. So I'm just hoping that this further helps them improve and you know I'm not looking to be 20 years old again been there done that don't have a t-shirt anymore but yeah I, I just want to look as good as I possibly can for my age and at 66 I think I'm accomplishing that I'll never be 30 35 40 45 50 55 again or 60 but I don't have to look 66 if I can help it and it's got nothing to do with that anti-aging or pro-aging. I'm for pro-aging, aging as healthy as possible, as gracefully as possible. But I want to slow that darn clock down physically. So look at that, still on my hands. Oh, I am I'm so obsessed with these. So anyways, guys, I'll link all the information below. And um, check out those epic pen pencils, the eyeliners. They are gorgeous. They're really gorgeous. I love them. Bye, guys.